natural systems gradually evolve and get better and get better and sometimes when the surrounding changes they collapse, they fail and they die or they evolve to different species. We look at design also in the same way. My name is Mehran Garlegi and I'm a multidisciplinary designer and my focus in, is on architecture, design and research. And I have to put all three in the bracket because none of them without the other one really has a meaning. I am Amin Sadegi, I'm from uh, Tehran. We had our own office, me and Mehran, uh, in Tehran after we finished uh, university but we decided to move here to Architectural Association. Studied there for Master of Architecture and again set up our own business. If there are two partners in a company and they're saying the same thing, most probably one of them is not needed. <laughs> so we complete each other, we fight with each other, we critic each other, that's how it works. There are three fields for our studio. One is the environment, one is material, and one is culture. Middle Eastern art is very important to us because we've grown up with it in many ways. You can't really separate it from ourselves. In the design, we allow ourselves to dig into our own roots and see if we can push the design slightly forward. So far, we've only had the chance to create limited edition objects. And this time, we, we were able to create objects for a much larger number of people. In this project, the GMOs, GMO is a stand for genetically modified. It's kind of like ourselves, like human beings. All of us have kind of the same genes, but each one of us are a bit different. GMO uses the same methods that Islamic drawings were produced with. It uses rotation, repetition, and symmetry. These objects is designed by an algorithm. We started with these two basic geometries of an octagon and we applied some simple rules and these objects came to life. So the GMOs are first designed in the computer and once the design is set, the geometry needs to be prepared for 3D printing. We are printing them in ceramics, plastics, and stainless steel. We have printed them in resin and we have printed them in alumite. We could just put up the files up there and sell them one by one. But what we wanted to do is to have them as an army together, like hundreds of them together, to take a photo of them and show the variation and you can see the uniqueness of them. There is a big, big, big pleasure in designing objects and architecture that comes to life. You put them in a room and that room is no longer the same room as it was. There is a genuine pleasure for contributing in culture and that's one of the motivations of our research and cultural work. We follow our own interests and if they become successful, hopefully they can be continued by others, by, by students, artists and designers in future or if not, the journey has been quite interesting.